Hi, my name is Melinda Bula. Welcome to my studio. Um, I'm here to show you what I do and give you some tips and tricks on uh, my technique. I do fabulous fusible flowers. I've been working in fusible web for my art for the last, it's coming up on 20 years if you can believe that. Back when you didn't use the word fusing at your quilt guild, you would hide what you were doing, which I did for about four years before I showed people that I was doing this. So I've been teaching all over and traveling the world doing this little crazy quilting thing. And so what I wanna do is a couple um, YouTube videos to share with you some of my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, answer some of your questions, help you to be more creative. So they're just gonna be short little um, YouTube videos. Hopefully I'll figure out how to do this. But just uh, hang in there with me and I hope you'll learn something. Comment below, subscribe so you'll get all the emails that are, or the, not the emails, well, you'll get that too, but all of the YouTube videos that I'm gonna do. And I better go quickly because I can hear the gardener in the backyard right now and it's gonna get really loud. So stay tuned for tips and tricks. Welcome to my video one, how to use Steam Seam 2 the Melinda Beulah way. So what I'm going to do is I'm making a orange hibiscus here and I need to fuse all of these fabrics. Uh, and I'm going to show you putting fusible web on a little piece of fabric is pretty easy but when you have to go and put fusible web on a large piece of fabric it gets a little tricky because the fusible web is sticky on both sides. So let me show you how I try and deal with this. We're going to make you a master of fusible web here. So I'm going to take my fusible web. There is a right side and a wrong side. I don't know if you can see on this, but there is a grid on this side. And there is no grid on that side. And I take off the plain paper first. Both the papers are the same. It really is the same sticky on both sides. But they suggest peel this paper off. And what I do, once you peel it off, I take it and fold the sticky residue part on itself like this and throw it away. Okay, now I've got my fabric with the sticky up and I'm gonna take my little piece of fabric here. You can take this over to the iron and iron out all those folds. I know some of you love to iron, but I, what I do is I just go over to the fabric and I lay it down in one corner and then I kind of push it with my fingers. Can you see this? laying it down, and then I smooth it out with my hands, okay? So right now, I've got it on the fusible web. Now, we need to iron this in, but you cannot take this over to the iron like this, because this, all this sticky that it's exposed, once it hits the iron, it turns to black tar, and then you cover your iron with this black tar, and nobody's having any fun. So I bring in my scissors over here and I'm gonna cut right along the edge. Can you see how I'm cutting along the edge? Removing all the extra sticky. And if you can see, I have still a little bit of sticky residue right here. I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna cut that all away. So now my fabric has no fusible web on the edge and it's ready to be pressed. Now when I take my hot iron and I press the fusible web to the fabric, what happens is the fusible web melts into the weave of the fabric and stops it from raveling. This is one of the reasons why I like Steam Seam 2 because this raw edge will never ravel. If you're using good quality fabric, you will never have a raveled edge. So let's go iron this and I'll show you how to iron so it. So here we are way. over at the ironing board and we're now gonna press our uh, fabric. The first thing I do is I press it from the paper side and you can have steam in it or it can be a dry hot iron, whatever you, sometimes when you're using steam, it will get underneath the paper here and bubble up, but don't freak out. Um, if that concerns you, you can use a dry iron. Hot steam keeps it sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna squeegee down like I'm doing windows. Start in one corner and I'm just gonna squeegee. I have it on a high cotton setting. Then I'm gonna flip it over 
And I'm going to do the other side, same thing. I'm going to squeegee it down. And because my iron is hot, that's all I have to press. You do not have to hold it on, you know, for 20 seconds. You can just slide it one way, flip it over, slide again. How easy is that? So doing a little piece of fabric is really a lot simpler. But when you get to a big piece like this, there are some tips I want to share with you. How do you put, and what I'm using today, and I do use in my studio, is I'm using the 12 inch wide, whoops, steam -a seam two. It's 12 inches wide. It comes in 18 inches and it comes in 24, and they don't pay me to do this, so just know this, I bought all this myself, okay? This is just me, myself, and I here. So what I want to do is cover this whole piece of fabric with the fusible web. On a big piece like this, I am going to go to the iron and press out the wrinkles. Okay, our fabric is pressed. We got the wrinkles pretty good. And then I'm going to take my very large fusible web. I'm going to do like I did before. I'm going to go to the solid paper, and I'm going to remove that paper to, at the edge. Okay, do you see that? And I'm going to remove all this paper. And what happens when you remove it, you now have a giant piece of sticky stuff exposed in your studio and this can give you a lot of fear. So what I do is I do this trick where I'm gonna fold, flipping it over, I'm gonna fold the non-sticky areas on top of each other. Can you see that? So I'm only dealing with half of this and I'm gonna put it in the corner right here and I'm just gonna lay it down. I still have it lifted up and then I'm going to smoothly, with my hand, and then hold this, just guide it down. Now, if you get a fold or a wrinkle, peel it back and do it again. Okay, now, a lot of times you're going to get bubbles. See these bubbles that are stuck inside that paper? That is not a problem. I don't worry about that. What we want to make sure that we don't have... Whoops, is bubbles on this side, which we don't. Okay, so that is wonderful. Now, we still have this exposed fusible web hanging over the edge right here that we have to cut away. So now that I found my scissors, I'm going to cut that excess away. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back over now and look at the back. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but we still don't have fusible web down on this piece. So what I do is I'm gonna take the little pieces that I cut off here and I'm going to piece them all the way across like this now I'm not you don't want to overlap here okay if they overlap you get a mess you just want to butt up okay just butt up against and then I'll take another piece over here I save my scraps so I can do this and I'll put another piece right in like this now see where it's overlapping over here let's look at this that is what you don't want to do. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut right along that edge. Now, that little bit that isn't covered in fusible web will not be a problem. Don't worry about it. I'm going to flip it over. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but I don't want any of this excess. Now I want to go over to the iron and I want to press this, but we don't want to have any of the sticky over at our iron, okay? Now this piece I'm gonna save because I can use this to piece later. So I put it in a special place close to my design table and then I'm gonna also cut off this piece. There we go. Now, look at I've got this huge piece of fabric all ready to go to the iron and press at the iron and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm at my iron. I'm going to do the same thing I did with that little piece of fabric. I'm going to start in one corner on the paper side, and I'm going to squeegee my iron down. Okay, pressing out, squeegee, and it kind of squeegees the air bubbles out. Then I'm going to adjust my fabric again and go back to where I was and just squeegee the iron all the way down. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over. And on from this side, I'm gonna do the same thing 
I'm going to press it. Now this little ridge right here where we join two pieces of fusible web will not matter. You won't see that. And I'm just squeegeeing so that all of the fabric and all of the edges have been pressed. And that's how you do it. Now, I prepared, if you'll notice, I prepared all my fabrics on my cutting table on a hard surface before I come over here to the iron. Because the iron is soft, you can press in a fold or a wrinkle. But on a hard surface, as you're laying everything out, it's nice, you can get a nice adhe adhesion of the fusible to the fabric on a harder surface, like the cutting table, than the, the soft iron, okay? So now, that's how I fuse. So here we are with our fabric fused, and you may be ready to make a hibiscus with one of my patterns. You can go to my website to find out more information. I have kids, and I have the pattern, and here is my original pink uh, hibiscus. You can see this. I hope you can see that. And then if you would like to learn how to stitch or make your own flower quilt, you can go to my online classes at iQuilt.com. But stay tuned, I'll have more tips and tricks and thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Be creative.